It is time for a chat with the man for the job himself, yeah. me, Akim Olaya, a Nigerian filmmaker, director, and also a media person. You are welcome, everything. man. He's everything. There is an Studios. Thank you. Oh, yes. You know, you. first of all, I just want to say this was a very well cut trailer. I don't mm. know how the movie is going to turn out. But from the trailer, there was another one that had the, the soundtrack. The soundtrack. The sound boom. That's something that we don't... I remember... Um, what's this movie now? The, the last one. The one that had... Um, uh, Idris Elba as, as the... As the I, I don't know what you're talking about. had the fella song. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> the Heart of the Fall. Yeah, The Heart of the Fall, yeah. It, it was... The, this that was what's so... That was what came because I saw the sync of the, the music and that is something that we don't see so much in Hollywood. We just hear Yeme all the time. fantastic It's to good have to you have here, you. Man. Thank you. First thank of all, you're wearing the t-shirt that says Man for the Job and definitely yes. you are the Man for the Job. Ant Hill Studios, you guys are doing so much right now. Two movies out at the same time currently, Man for the Job and also King of Thieves. But let's talk about Man for the Job, first of all. What is the premise around? Now, I know it's about tech, if I'm not mistaken. Why was that the reason or uh, the premise? Well, so it's, it's just set around, you know, tech drama, but it really is a film about family and brotherhood. So what I've noticed is that when you have an industry, which is happening right now, you know, the fintech industry, and there is a lot of excitement, you know, money pouring in, that yeah. triggers a lot of drama, mm. you know. Um, one of the big um, things we wanted to explore is something that is also happening where you know people would say oh this was my idea you stole my idea oh because there is money mm. coming in you know so the story is practically about a guy who's had this really brilliant idea many years ago and then he wakes up you know now he's broke you know he's driving an uber he's frustrated as a banker and then he realizes his big idea has made all the money wow. you know in the hands of a trusted friend yeah you know so that puts all the question you know um to to you know it questions their friendship you know it questions everything about what they stood for and you know what money is now doing yeah. and I thought because until we're really big on family movies films that question um, family you know relationships but it would always be set in something that is relevant you know and that is today and that's what we did with the film so Classic. wonderful you know still talking about until you remember one time when you you picked up this animation was that the animation you 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 played at one time which one is it that was, now I can't remember the Nigerian animation? animation yeah it was so, Nigerian animation. COVID animation that you, that Aunt Hill did, and all of that. Like us? Yes, I think it was. My, you, you were the one that, that showed me that remember, animation. I'm sorry. You were the one. <laughs> but you know, that's something. That's something that we don't get to see so much of. What is it about Aunt Hill that makes you stand out? Because yeah. you actually do stand out. I'd seen that animation, and then you also have a deal with. Um, is it is it Amazon? Amazon. You have Amazon, a deal with yeah. Amazon all over. What is that special thing? What makes Aunt Hill stand out? Uh, well, I mean, it, I I think. The way we like to think about what we do at Antil is that we're borderless. We don't have borders. We don't, we don't tell ourselves we are this kind of studio or we're that kind of studio. We're excited about everything. So I can wake up tomorrow, go to the studio and say, hey, guys, we're doing a sci-fi next. Let's come up with something. You know, we did a time travel movie. Yeah, you know, I think I remember that you know, one. Day of Destiny. Yeah, so we're always exploring because you never really know what the audience would yeah. be excited about. And mm -hmm. if you're truly in love with film, you know, as a medium, you know, then you want to explore everything. And we want to be that studio. And you also pick the right time to actually set out that material. Like, for instance, right now you have Man, uh, King of Thieves out and everybody, it's the rave of the moment. Tell you what, let's take a look at King of Thieves for real quick. And then mm. when we get back, we'll pour out our excitement on you right. once again. <laughs> so Thanks. we'll be right back. Let's do King of Thieves uh, in uh, three, two, and one. Here we go, King of Thieves. <laughs> fantastic. Hey, that's fantastic. Uh, You're also uh, really known for effects, and you can see that all through that entire trailer there. Now, there's an evolution that has happened in the world of, or in the Nigerian space when it comes to movies and movie effects. Would you say that you're ahead of all of this? It's okay, you don't need to be <laughs> modest. You don't need to be modest, please. I don't know if we're ahead. I just know that we're pushing, you know, to be that studio that can boldly take our stories where everyone is scared to go, you know. Especially so, imaginatively. Yes, you know, so we, we, we tried it out. For, I mean, I started my career basically like this. I did Kajola in 2010, you know. It was a box office failure, but it was the film where we blew up the third Milan bridge, you know, and we wanted to do all kinds of cool stuff. We had people fighting robots and all of that. And so the excitement has always been there, but the know-how, yeah. you know, hasn't really been there. But things are changing. The technology is cheaper, it's better. So more right accessible. Now, yeah, it's a lot more accessible. So right now, it's about 
expanding what these our stories can be. And we're Nigerians, we love fantasy, mm. we love, you know, make believe, you know. And so when King of Thieves, that opportunity came, you know, we didn't waste time at all. We experimented a bit with Day of Destiny, you know, there was a portal where people yeah. stabbed into the past, you know, and that worked. And we realized, okay, maybe we can do a bit of that. We did some effects on Elevator, maybe we're always on Prophetess, we, we, we did the yeah, crowd I effect. Also, yeah, I mean, so, you've, 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 it's, it's, so it's, really it's, it's, about, it's safe to say that you should have just simply answered in a few words, yes, we are. <laughs> well, that would have been, well, well, that would have been okay. <laughs> you know, you didn't need to go through all that. Mention it on the, you know. He's, 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 about, he's about the most profitable box office director out mm. there by far. But then, also personally, you, you can be quite controversial on social media. I can? Yes, because you have some posts. I, I, I saw this one, and this was some okay, of the story. It. Says, this was, he, says, he says this, you are suffering with him. But you don't have shares in the business. <laughs> made this is somebody else posting this from there in this page. Another person posted, and this is him. He says, you aren't part of the network that made him rich. You aren't even growing, so he can be rich by associating with you. My sister, what exactly are you doing? What inspired this one? Because there's so much that... So, I mean, I'm, I'm, if you follow me, I'm really big on women owning, you know, their future. You know, um, we do a lot of things in the studio. All the... Some of the most technical work, some of the VFX you're seeing are done by women in nice. my studio. All the editors in my studio are women, you know. Some of the really serious work are done by women. And that's because I feel that, you know, nothing is going to change for women if they don't own stuff for themselves. And there was a discussion mm. about someone suffering with a man. I was like, why are you suffering? With a man, how how is the man growing and becoming better, mm. and you're just there suffering, you know, when you can own your own destiny? So it, it's really what I believe in, and you know, I'll say it every time, anytime. So um, with everything that we've heard from you that you've done, and everything that you're doing currently, uh, uh, King of Thieves, and all, what about? Um, Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Ni, nee, I'm sorry. I forgot okay. something. Me, nee, we are so excited and would like to say thank you very much for putting one of our very own up on <laughs> one of your biggest stages. And Nigeria, <laughs> did you know that one of our very own here from Wake Up Nigeria has taken a step, or rather I say another one of our very own has taken a step into the <laughs> movie industry. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> introducing the latest catch inside of movies, Mr. Mike <laughs> Mesikero! Who featured actually in Man for the Job? We did not know why he was so excited That's about the movie. Man for the Job. Man for the Job. Yes, yes congratulations. Don't change the topic, Mike. Let's celebrate yeah. you. You should that be proud to see that Mike. You know, he really represents. What was he like? What was Mike? Was? It what was, was like? absolutely stunning. I love it was stunning. Right, he triggered the entire second act of the film oh. just by saying something. Just will you, a few will you give him another role? <laughs> Well, I mean, people have been looking at him and say that's a fine boy. Oh. I know we like fine boys in Hollywood. Yeah. So, mm. so, so, according, Yabo Ojo now said something <laughs> that in this industry they are not faithful. Exactly. Do you think this one will be faithful? No, no. Wait. Best of all, yeah. <laughs> faithful about. She you said actor um, not faithful. This, yeah. Like, what what, she, what she does she mean faithful? Marry an actor. Be prepared. Be prepared. You should have a shock, shock absorber. Yeah. What do you think? With all the experience you I, have, I don't know if they're not faithful. Who are they sleeping with? The actresses. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I see what you did there. But, I see what you but, did but there. But it's understandable, you know. So they, we, you know, we like to say that um, filmmaking is a very incestuous profession. Why I mean, you keep people in a space for what a yeah. month, two Amen months, you that. know, staring at each other, you know, things happen when you keep people in a space for that long. So, I mean, Indeed. I can't speak for actors, but... Can yeah. we have a round of applause across the studio, <laughs> please, for yeah. Thank well, you very much. Up. It's in the cinemas. You, you can, everybody can go see Yes, it's in, in every cinema in okay. the country right now. You can just check, you know, the websites for showtime. Right. You're going to love the film. I mean, we've done epic. We've done everything. This is drama. Because it's really important to have, you know, diverse genre. Yeah. You know, Cast spectrum. Space. Thank you very Thank much, you very much Neve. Fantastic one. You. This is the yeah. high point for the week for me. Thank you very yeah. much for coming. Do stay tuned. We've got more coming your way inside of Wake Up Night, Jair. We'll be back.